another virus making headlines after covid turned our lives upside down it is natural for even a mention of a new virus to make people anxious but hold on before you start stockpiling hand sanitizers and start dusting off your mask boxes let us demystify human meta pneumo virus called hmpv in short for simplicity i will call it mpv in this video it is not a dangerous new threat it is more like an old familiar visitor that shows up every year covid memories are still fresh after living through the pandemic even a small cough or cold reminds people of the tough times during corona add some scaremongering and eye catching headlines to it and voila old memories are back and suddenly mpv is the talk of the town during the lockdowns masks and social distancing kept people safe from many viruses but it also gave other viruses like this one a holiday many viruses went on sabbatical now that the people are back to mingling these bugs are trying to catch up on missed meetings with our immune system mpv is one of them it is not just mpv making its rounds rsv flu and even covid are adding up to the patient's load covid scare still fresh people even with mild symptoms are running to doctors and hospitals these days there is a better detection because more testing is available earlier a cold or cough was treated at home for a week before seeing a doctor now with advanced testing available even mild cases are diagnosed quickly adding up to the patient's numbers and our media loves drama words like viral surge or epidemic make for catchy headlines the media sometimes exaggerate these stories making things seem scarier than they really are mpv is a globally present virus that has been around for decades likely over a half a century it causes respiratory symptoms similar to a common cold it is not confined to any specific region and shows up yearly across continents particularly in late winter and spring almost every child will have at least one infection by their fifth birthday and multiple infections later in life therefore most populations already have good immunity against mpv mpv symptoms usually appear 3 to 6 days after exposure and last about the same time its symptoms include running nose cough fever sore throat fatigue and occasionally difficulty in breathing especially in children the elderly or those with underlying conditions such as asthma for most it is a mild illness that passes on its own however in some high risk groups it can cause more severe symptoms mpv can be identified using antigen test or pcr tests however testing is generally unnecessary for mild to moderate cases especially when symptoms are limited to the upper respiratory tract when necessary a comprehensive multiplex test that checks for multiple respiratory viruses including hmpv is preferred as it is very difficult to differentiate between different viruses based on signs and symptoms alone these tests are typically reserved only for high risk individuals and patients with significant lung involvement mpv and other respiratory viruses including covid spread through close contact such as respiratory droplets from coughing or sneezing or by touching objects contaminated with the virus however covid also spreads via aerosols 
the tiny airborne particles that can linger in the air for longer periods, making it more contagious. For most people, MPV does not require a specialized treatment. For a vast majority, it is manageable with home care as follows. Stay hydrated, take rest, use over-the-counter medicines for fever or cough if needed, steam inhalation or saline nasal spray can help congestion. Use hygiene measures such as mask, washing hands frequently to avoid it spreading to others. If symptoms worsen or there is difficulty in breathing, seek medical advice. While mild for most, certain groups are at high risk of severe illness, including children under 2 years of age, elderly, people with chronic illnesses, especially those affecting the heart or lungs, individuals with weak immune system such as those having cancer, HIV or are on immunosuppressive medications. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Avoid touching your face, especially your nose and mouth. Clean frequently touched surfaces often. Wear a mask in crowded or high risk settings, especially if you are vulnerable. Keep your distance from those who are unwell. For most people, the answer is a resounding no. It is not a new virus. It is already present across the continents. Most of us have already had it in the past at some point without even realizing it. It is an another seasonal visitor. A sneezy one, sure, but not a scary one. As medicine is always evolving, if new development emerge, we will keep you informed with the latest updates. So that is all for today. If you found this information helpful, like, share and subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon with another video. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy and take care.